G'day, welcome to Gurnil's Garage. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the progress on my steam locomotive build. Uh, it's the 1st of March 2022. <coughs> Here is the locomotive I'm working on. It's a 7.25 inch gauge Bridget 042 tank engine designed by Ken Swan. Being new to model engineering, I thought I'd start with the basics. So I started with the front buffer beam. This was the first project. Bit of square 5mm plate, a few angles, a lot of holes to tap, bolt it all together. And we've got spring loaded hook there. All parts milled up in my Myford lathe and the front buffer stocks, which I haven't completed yet. Once I finished Got it to that point. I moved on to the frame spreader, which also has a mount for the axle driven water pump. A lot of time riveting there and milling all the parts up. Did make a bit of a mistake on this. This top plate was supposed to be an eighth of an inch towards the rear of the locomotive frame, but I don't think it's going to cause any issues. Well, I hope not. Just managed to get that hole in there. We can live with that. Uh, next, I moved on to the rear buffer beam, similar to the front. Got these ones finished, spring loaded buffers. Uh, a bit of paint on there to see what she'll look like. Probably need redoing by the time I'm finished. Uh, it's got the drag box there, which pivots from there to there, spring loaded. It's a bit sticky due to the paint. Uh, also, a lot of time riveting, tapping little holes, bolting that all together. But that makes a nice solid assembly for the rear of the frame. Keeps it nice and square. Uh, moving on to side frames. I drew these up off the plan in Fusion 360 and got them laser cut locally out of 5mm plate. Drilled all the little holes by hand and I've started riveting on these angles for the running board supports, the boiler support feet, uh, handbrake mount there. And next thing I'm working on are the axle box guides, which rivet on the inside of the frame here. Here's one I've started. Milled all that out. It's got to heat it up, bend the top over, braise it together, drill a few holes, mill it up, make sure it's nice and square, and I'll be ready to rivet on before I work on the axle boxes. Um, also, I've got these couple of frame spreaders which are work in progress. Uh, one's for the pony truck pivot and the rear bearing pad for the pony truck. So we're to mill them up to size and fold them together. And I've got this little bar there which goes at the front. That's got a mount for the return spring for the brake mechanism. It's just a bit of 10 mil bar. A couple of holes tapped in it, it's pretty basic. A couple of them. Guard irons for the front, got to do the rear ones yet. And that's about, about it for the time being. Uh, a lot of hours invested, a lot, of, a lot of hours in the shed for what doesn't look like much progress, but yeah, keeps me off the street, all good fun. And here is the trusty Myford ML7, which I have restored, picked it up last year. It was a rusty mess, just covered in gunk, crap. I fully stripped it down, give her a coat of paint, give her a birthday. Had little to no tooling with it, so set her all up. Got a vertical mill slide in there. Uh, hand wheel on the lead screw there so I can mill all my stock up to size. Coll it with a milling cutter in there. Yeah, I'll put in a 
photo of what it looked like when I first got it and you'll be able to compare what it is now. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, I plan to do a few more videos, probably like this, as the um, build progresses. I don't know if I'll do any action footage, but we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.